What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Jordan Wheeler with RTR Vehicles and in today's episode we are installing the RTR Tactical Performance Adjustable Sway Bars for your 18 to 22 Ford Mustang. <laughs> Inside your box for the front sway bar, you'll find your front adjustable sway bar, your hardware kit which includes grease for your bushings, and your brackets and sway bar bushings, along with your installation instructions. For the rear, you'll have your rear adjustable sway bar, and your hardware kit which includes the grease for your bushings, the new bushings, bushing brackets, your brake line relocation bracket, and eight washers. However, these four here you're not going to use. For this installation, we're going to need 7 millimeter socket. 10 millimeter socket, 18 millimeter socket, socket wrench, 17 millimeter wrench, 18 millimeter wrench, body clip removal tool, torque wrench, impact, and an extension which is not pictured here. When we move to the rear, we're also going to need 6 millimeter hex socket and a 15 millimeter socket. I'm back at the RTR lab this week, which means that I have complete access to our full range of gear wrench tools as well as these two post coats lifts but know that you can handle this job yourself in your driveway at home. Starting with the front, with the vehicle elevated, remove the front wheels. Using your 17 millimeter wrench and your 18 millimeter wrench, remove the sway bar end link nut. Then remove the end link from the sway bar. Using a flathead screwdriver or your body clip removal tool, start by pulling back on the red security clip for the mass airflow sensor and removing the connector. Then remove the tree fur anchor from the connector to the air box. You'll also need to remove the tree fur anchor from the sound tube. Next, remove the 10 millimeter bolt from the air box and loosen the strap for the intake tube using your seven millimeter socket. Remove the intake tube and the air box up and out of the way. Remove the front sway bar 18 millimeter bracket bolt. The rear bolt is a little more difficult to get to because it sits directly under the alternator. You can access it through this plastic panel in the wheel well. Use your 18 millimeter wrench to remove it. Back up top past the radiator hose and AC plumbing is your access to the passenger side sway bar bracket. Use an extension with your 18 millimeter socket, reach down and remove them. With the brackets removed, push the sway bar to the passenger side of the vehicle. Then remove the sway bar through the passenger side. This will take some twisting while removing. Make sure to be careful when pulling the sway bar through. Two areas that I got hung up on were the driver's side solid brake line and the flexible brake line on the passenger side. When putting the RTR Tactical Performance Sway Bar in, leave the plastic wrap in place to prevent any scratching. Take your time and follow the same path that you use to remove the OEM sway bar. With the sway bar in place, Apply the provided grease to the new polyurethane bushing. Separate the bushing and place it around the sway bar to the inside of the stop ring. Then place your new bracket over the bushing and bolt it in place. And torque it to 81 pound-feet. When setting up your RTR sway bars, we have three settings. Full rear or our softest setting, which reduces understeer and is great for use in the rain or slick roads. This also will help increase comfort. Our mid setting, which is great for street performance and tuning out under or over steer, which is more of a neutral balance for normal driving conditions. And our firmest setting, which reduces oversteer and is great for dry roads or track use. We're going to start off by setting this one up for a neutral setting because we can always adjust this later at the track. In the rear, use your 10 millimeter socket to remove the bolt securing the brake line to the bracket. Then use your 6 millimeter torque spit and an 18 millimeter wrench to remove the sway bar end link. From underneath the car, use the 15 millimeter socket to remove the four bolts securing the sway bar to the vehicle. Apply the provided grease to the new polyurethane bushing. Separate the bushing and place it around the sway bar to the outside of the stop ring. Then place your new bracket over the bushing. Slide the sway bar into place and loosely set the bolts. After installing the sway bar end link for a neutral balance, install the new brake line bracket to the end link stud. Then mount the brake line using the OEM 10 millimeter bolt. Now torque everything down, mount your tires and you're ready to rock.
with this product or any of the other great product we have available for the 18 to 21 Mustang GT or EcoBoost, make sure to check out rtrvehicles.com for this product and many others. And if you want to start looking fancy like myself or any of my other teammates, go ahead and check out any of our shirts, hats, or hoodies available on the website as well. I'm Jordan Wheeler with RTR Vehicles, and I'll catch you guys on the other side of fun. Whoa!